2020 is 50 years since Britain's last predecimals, and one of the coins that was issued in 1970 was the Scottish shilling. Scottish shilling, you ask? Well, this coin has a Scottish design and is a shilling, so it's known as the Scottish shilling. However, it does have ancestors in the centuries before the Act of Union that were shilling coins minted as part of a Scottish coinage. Being a shilling, this coin was worth 12 pennies, and there were 20 of them to the pound. The Scottish design shilling was introduced in 1937 as part of the coinage of the new king, George VI. It was proposed as a tribute to the royal Scottish lineage of his wife, Elizabeth Bowes Lyon, whom we know as the Queen Mother. Although the reality is that a Scottish designed shilling had been proposed for the coinage of King Edward VIII, who had just abdicated. The coin featured the Scottish lion affronte, royally crowned, and in turn, seated on the Scottish crown. It was struck simultaneously with an English design shilling in each year of King George VI's reign. And the idea was so popular that this continued into the reign of Queen Elizabeth II. In this last predecimal series, the Scottish shilling featured a lion rampant, all contained within a shield and crown. The English shilling of the same series has a design very similar, but with the three lions of England within the shield. The Scottish design shilling measured 23.6 millimetres in diameter. In the years 1937 to 1946, it was minted from 50% pure silver, but thereafter it was produced in copper nickel. Its weight remained unchanged at 5.66 grams. Such a short series struggles somewhat to provide too many interesting dates, although the first and last coins of Queen Elizabeth II's reign are worth mention. The first Scottish shilling of the reign, produced in 1953, is a one-year type, the only one of its kind with this obverse design. At the other end of the shilling era is the very last coin of this kind minted, the 1970. Although the last shillings for circulation were minted in 1966 and new 5p coins were minted from 1968, there was one last nostalgic minting of the shilling in 1970 that was never put into circulation. It was only minted in a very high standard of quality known as proof and sold to collectors as part of sets. A side result of this is that the last year, 1970, is the smallest production of any Scottish shilling of Queen Elizabeth II's reign. We hope you've enjoyed this look at the Scottish version of the British predecimal shilling.